been working very, very hard. And she had the house looking really good. In fact, she had not only mopped the kitchen floor, she had waxed it and it had hardened and it was nice and shiny. Dad came home from work and he looked at the beautiful floor and he said, kids, look at the great work that your mama has done. Isn't she something? And they said, yeah, dad, she really is. And he said, tell you what, kids, let's be very careful. As a matter of fact, I'm going to say, if anybody spills anything on this floor, they're going to have to clean it up and then they're going to go to their room for an hour. The mama promptly got up, poured a cup of coffee on the floor, mopped it up and went to her room. She was tired and she wanted to be by herself. Ever have one of those times when you just want to go away or maybe sit in a corner and just suck your thumb? You want to be by yourself? You want to just be alone, just you and God and just pour your heart out to him? I know I go through times like that when I just need to go lick my wounds. Well, John the Baptist had just been beheaded and the disciples came and told Jesus. And Jesus loved John the Baptist very deeply. And here's what it says. When Jesus heard about John, he withdrew from there in a boat to a secluded place by himself. But that's not the end of the story. It says, when the people heard of this, they followed him on foot from the cities. And when he went ashore, he saw a large crowd and he felt compassion for them and he healed their sick. So here you have Jesus. He might have spent a little bit of time by himself, but he wanted to spend more time by himself. But here's this crowd that had these needs, and he had compassion on those people. And instead of doing what he felt like doing, he did what they needed to have done. You know, the Bible says love is patient. Patient actually means patient with people. Here were these people who cared about their needs more than they cared about Jesus' needs, and he was patient with them. It also says in the definition of love, and by the way, that's 1 Corinthians 13, that it doesn't seek its own way. And that pretty well characterizes Jesus. And that makes plenty of sense because the Bible says in 1 John 4, 8, God is love. That describes the very character of God. Well, then in your life and mine, the fruit of the Spirit is actually the character of the Spirit of Christ. It's the character of God shining through your life and mine. And the first thing on the list of the fruit is love. And so if you and I, believers in Jesus, are under the control of the Holy Spirit, we will be patient with people and we will not be seeking our own way, but we'll instead be seeking to be a blessing to other folks. So it goes beyond doing what's convenient Jesus did more than what was convenient. And it goes beyond giving up what you have no use for. You know, okay, I'll give them last year's coat. or I'll give away some groceries that I'm not going to eat. You know, it goes beyond that. There's sacrifice involved in it. Christ didn't feel like healing the crowds. He felt like being by himself. But he did what they needed instead of what he felt like doing. And that's what separates a spirit-filled Christian from anybody else. God grant that we be so. God bless you. All done.